Tighter Insider Preseason Camp is sponsored by The Locker Room. Welcome everyone to our Tighter Insider Fall Camp Practice Update for Wednesday, August 6th. Our updates are brought to you by The Locker Room, home of the original elephant wear, Tuscaloosa tradition since 1964. I'm Gary Harris, joined by Tighter Insider's Rodney Orr. Two practices on Wednesday, one this morning, one this evening. The most noteworthy aspect of the practice this morning and again tonight is Ashawn Robinson not out there but you've done some checking around Rodney and you know might have got his leg rolled up on yesterday at practice but it doesn't look like it's going to be anything too serious. No I think relax. yeah right I think at first Gary a lot of people thought and speculated maybe it was more serious than what what it actually apparently is uh, from my understanding it's it's an MCL sprain nothing to do with the ACL but again that's not official but uh, my understanding is that it's definitely not a serious injury. You could argue, though, that with his absence, along with Reeds and Ivory, that could have been the projected three interior starting linemen for Alabama, and now it's an opportunity for some other guys to uh, fill that void. Yeah, it is definitely an opportunity to give some young guys like Josh Frazier an opportunity to get more reps. And what about Darren Lake? I mean, we, we, he's been around a couple of years, so he'll certainly get a lot more reps inside. And But, you know, they've got a lot of guys that can fill the roles. Gary up front uh, defensively with Reed out and with Ashawn out temporarily. You know, guys like Corin Curvin, he's, he's just a young sophomore. Uh, Jonathan Allen. Um, you know, various other guys, D-liner, we haven't even really mentioned him much. But, you know, they have a lot of defensive linemen. Even though they're a little bit different, they're certainly guys that can contribute. Let's talk about the safety group by name. You lose HaHa -Ha Clinton Dix, you lose Sinceri, two really good players and leaders. Obviously, Landon Collins is a preseason All-American, but you've got Geno Smith looking to transition from corner. Then you've got two fifth-year guys that have really hung around here, battled through adversity and injuries, Jarrett Williams and Nick Perry. Talk about that safety group. Well, I think the big thing was last year when Landon Collins had an opportunity to step in when Ha Ha was out, and then when Vinny went down for the rest of the season, you know, Landon just started to blossom and, you know, he got gained a lot of experience. And now all of a sudden he enters this season as a guy who is projected as an early departure for the NFL. So I think, you know, when you look at his ability, it's rare to find. Uh, certainly I think he's going to fit right into the, 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 the kind of role that Ha Ha Clinton Dix left behind. And, you know, Jarek Williams has been around a while. He really finally got an opportunity last year after battling injuries and so forth and really had a good season. A Geno Smith is a guy to really keep an eye on. You know, they moved him to safety last year and he started budding a little bit. And I think now he's ready to really step up. And Nick Perry's been around. He's got a lot of experience. And I know that Coach Saban said many times that Nick Perry's one of those guys you can put out there in whatever role you put him out there, you know he's going to be in the right spot. So they have a good, uh, good group of guys. Finally, on offense, Coach Saban yesterday, a lot of praise for T.J. Yell and Amari Cooper said not only are they two of our best players, they're two of our best people. That bodes well for this football team, I think. Well, and I think the big thing is that they set uh, the example, Gary, by what their work ethic. I mean, they really work uh, extremely hard, and they've done a great job, both with the running backs, TJ, in terms of setting the example there, and, and Amari at wide receiver with DeAndre White, Christian Jones, those three guys. You know, even though Amari's only a junior, he's like a senior. I mean, he's a guy that you expect to depart early for the NFL draft. D. White's been around a while. You know, he came back for his fifth year this year, and, you know, he's a guy that uh, – brings a lot of that leadership and Christian Jones too has really kind of uh, stepped up in that regard uh, so far in fall camp. All right that's our update for this Wednesday August 6th one practice on Thursday we'll talk to you again then for Roddy Orr I'm Gary Harris we'll see you soon. Tighter Insider Preseason Camp is sponsored by The Locker Room.